Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhach Padash, double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who were well, and say, teaching them much love. The Yaku out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. First from Great Millstone, Tampa. With a quick video, Lord, well, it's edifying to the hopeful, hopeful elect, you know, just a in transit video. You're just going to go in spirit, but, uh, you know, there's uh, a lot of death and destruction taking place this week. You know, uh, the earthquake over there in uh, Morocco, and then Libya got the flood. Mm -hmm. They're saying like 20 something thousand people died, and they're still counting. They say the body's just washing up <laughs> to, the, yeah. to the shore. But, uh, you know, this is judgment. Like the Lord said, you know, you're going to hear uh, uh, commotions or uh, uproars of the people, earthquakes. So we know that. You know, the Lord is about to, you know, continue. Well, not about to hit it. He's going to continue to turn things up. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's like, yeah. But uh, go ahead. you got something? Yeah, you know, got something. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, we'll start at verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the, the Lord's clearly visiting the earth. All right, He's bringing all these judgments and mass death, and people fail to realize that it's all. Uh, this is all the Heavenly Father's will. You know, and it's only, it's only going to continue to get worse until the uh, World War Three is about to uh, bust out, the full fledged. There, the hour of temptations coming, and as prophets of the Lord, we got to be watching. You know, measuring the times because ain't nobody else doing it. And then we, we go out and warn the people, tell them to repent and take heed to the warnings. Of, because if not, you're going to get taken with the with the rest of these people in the, in the wrath of the Lord. So, go ahead. Yep, that's why I say measures time diligently in itself. So, you know, like the brother said, we, we got to be watchmen. We're looking at the things that's that's happening upon the earth and what we're filtering them through the scriptures. So we know what we know exactly time what time we're in. You know, even going back into who's in rulership, Esau, Edom. So we know what? That we're at the end. You know, we receive this word again, and now we see what the judgments of the Lord being brought forth upon the planet Earth. So we know what that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is on his way back to uh, return to bring judgment upon this place and to deliver his elect. Right, Second Ezra chapter nine verse three. It says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people well, in the well, world, we just seen the earthquake all right, in Morocco, which you know every day there's earthquakes, but this one was a uh, you know six point eight, and there's you know, a bunch of." Hey, there's a lot of Israelites in Morocco, mm -hmm. and that, uh, there's a lot of Spanish-speaking uh, Jake out there because you know Spain's right across the the water. But uh, hey, there's, again, it's judgment. You know that's what that's uh, what Northwest uh, Africa. Yeah. So they call like how I That's judgment. You know there are heathens among them, but there's a lot of Jakes out there. Oh yeah. The uproars of the people. Um, <laughs> look at America. <laughs> and wait till this election gets going. If they even have one, you know what I'm saying? Right. They, who knows what's gonna happen? Lord's will, you know, chaos erupts. All right, and, and they don't. And they don't, who knows? Maybe the black bitch will be president. Right. <laughs> the, uh, Sleepy Joe drops dead on on stage, and she becomes president and suspends the election. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because when you're going to the Adam online for the word uproar, it says outbreak of disorder, revolt, commotion, tumult, riot, literally a stirring up. So uh, we, we see that the Lord is ultimately, you know, stirring up the whole world, man. You know, bringing his judgment, you know, uh, uh, the higher cost, which is, you know, due to this inflation. Yep. You know, really, you know, Esau just taxing you more and more, right? That, that, that's his hidden tax. And you getting hit with it on the back end with, with inflation. So that's causing what? People to uh, to cry out, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, well, there's, uh, homelessness is running rampant. People are shooting their landlords because the rent's yep. going up. You had this one bitch, she shot her landlord and just started renting out the rooms. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Probably buried the nigga in the backyard. But, it, you know, so it's, uh, like the scriptures say, the love of many is going to wax cold. And it's already taking place, but it's going to get a lot worse. Like the scriptures say, day of your own household shall be thy fools. You know, it's mainly speaking to us. But, hey, these people are going to be at each other's throats, man. Because they ain't going to be able to. It, it's already hard to live. You know, people can barely make it. Make ends meet. Yep. You know, living paycheck to paycheck, that's an understatement. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 4 Then shalt thou well understand That the Most High spake of those things From the days that were before thee Even from the beginning For like as all that is made in the world Hath a beginning in an end 
in the end is manifest mm -hmm. right so the lord he how did the lord speak about these things from the beginning by his prophets man you know the, the prophets been on the earth since the beginning as, as he spake in sundry times by what his mouthpiece the prophets right so the prophets been speaking of of the uh the, the end of the age the end of the rulership that come the second return of yahweh Mashiach. you know whether the prophets understood what they were saying at that time or not you know because you know a lot of scriptures be twofold yeah. but here it is in these last days where it said yahweh the most i said all these things have have signs the end has a sign so what we're witnessing is the signs of the end mm -hmm. And again, the, the the prophets they they speak it. Like what I was saying, that that's how the like they're back here today. They got mm -hmm. the visions back then. They maybe did well, not maybe they didn't fully understand them. But now it's a uh, it was written like get that real quick. Uh, uh Habakkuk was it two? Yeah. Because now is 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 it's, we don't have to. We just pointing it out at this point. We've been prophesying of these things. Now we're we're saying look, here it is. Look what this event took place. Here's the scripture that said this was gonna happen. So it's a matter of time before the rest of the, the prophecies. There's only a handful of prophecies left for the kingdom of heaven to be set up. The, the microchip, all right. Time of Jacob's trouble, World War Three, and the return of the Lord. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not waiting on, on much. You know, it, it could it could come quick, like the apostles been saying, man. We it just get go down in a matter of months. You know, all out war. You know, nuclear missiles coming. Because once that chip comes out, things gonna move quick. Yep. Cause you're gonna not, it's like you're not gonna have a, 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 a option. Right? Nobody's gonna take cash. So Esau's gonna, people are gonna go into uproars, mm -hmm. and Esau's gonna have to handle it with his sword. <laughs> put put the, the the people that don't want to take the chip. He's gonna have to do something about them. That's why he got these 15 minute cities. He's setting everything up. Everything's already. There's a fucking 7-Eleven every yeah, every right. other mile. You know, put Walmart and pub. You know, they want to yeah, keep right. you quarantined, so to say. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 And Yahweh answered me and said Write the vision and make it plain upon tables That he may run that readeth it hey, So the, the, the prophets they received the vision And they wrote it and they, they made it plain But now the, that's why the scripture said We know in part and we prophesy in part You know so now we can we can clearly link these things up And clearly point out that we're at the end Why because they, they, they've been made manifest You know the, the Lord declared the end since the beginning and now we see all these things coming to pass man verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie yeah, so it's speaking loud and clear now the, the prophecies they're speaking loud and clear it's not a, oh, oh you know maybe it's this and maybe it's that right. well if you if they're if, if somebody's saying maybe it's this and maybe it's that then they're not a prophet <laughs> right you know they're not they're not men of the lord at the end of the day you got to be concrete on what the what the chip or what the mark of the beast is, you got to be concrete on if Jacob's trouble is going to happen or not, you know. And again, only the prophets of the Lord that, that are going to come back in this time and, and be able to understand these dark sayings, prophecies, parables, you know. Is it, it ain't for everybody at the end of the day, you know. And, and as as the world goes into shit, you know, the prophets are are going to be uh, stand out more and more. Yep. Because the, the Lord's gonna uh, set up a hedge of protection around us, but well, we already got it. But it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be noticeable to everybody. Like the scriptures say that you're gonna have abundance. The, the, the heathen gonna envy thee and not be able to do nothing. So the Lord is about to uh, change the table, so to say. Everybody's been in the the, the spirit of mirth when they're about to go into the house of mourning, and we're gonna be rejoicing. Yep. Kind of finishing off verse three. Have a cool two or three. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And that's why Yahweh Shah spoke about, you know, praying and watching that you fall down into, into temptation. Like the brother uh, mentioned earlier about, you know, these things are speeding up. So hey, once that ball really get to rolling, which we already see it, we already see the momentum picking up. Hey, but once, once these prophecies go to, you know, really, really popping off, you know, the famine of the word, Jacob's trouble, you know, hey, you better... Pray and hope that you know the Lord have mercy upon you. That's why it's important to take heed to this word now. Like you see, you see it speaking. You see the vision speaking loud and clear now. So you know, ultimately, hey, what what is Jake waiting on, man? You, this is the high time to wake out of sleep to repent, come back into the Lord, man, because His judgment is upon the earth. Yeah, yeah it's not gonna. You, it's not, uh, if you don't get, let the scripture say, seek ye the Lord while He may be found, it's gonna be very difficult to come across a man of the Lord in that time. You know, we ain't gonna be out there. 
you know, on the highways and byways teaching. We're, you know, we're going to be moving around, doing miracles, you know, uh, leading the, the flock. But, hey, you might run into the wrong cats, you know, you uh, run into the, those uh, the false prophets, right? Salt waters. Yeah. You're going to get even more dehydrated. Because mm -hmm. the famine of the word is coming. And then, we'll, they, why is this happening? Well, we've been told you why. <laughs> and what it was going to happen. So people that walked by the camps or may clicked on a video and, and scoffed or whatever, they've heard it. So they're going to remember, damn, they did, them crazy guys on the corner that I made fun of, they did say this was going to happen. And then it's going to be too late for you, punk ass. Man, what was that name they were called on? Exactly. And then, like I said, you better hope the Lord have mercy on you. You know, because this could happen, yeah. But <laughs> you want to take that chance? Right. Very, very uh, time sensitive, man. You know, and that, that's also why the Lord go, you know, he's gonna put up that hedge to defend his man. And also too, because they pretty much the elect gonna be the, the most wanted man on the earth. You know, from from the wicked, from the heathen wanting to put him to death, you know, and also from, you know, people looking for comfort, comfort for the mind, right? This second Ezra chapter six, verse 22. And suddenly should a song places appear unsung and four storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Right, so hey, the song places that that's Babylon the Great right now. You know, people still stopping at the red light, waking up, going to work. You going know, going to the grocery store, yeah. pack, fridge is packed. Mm -hmm. All that's coming to an end. You're gonna be have to fight for your for your next meal. There's gonna be life and death situations. Yep. And you see, it links up the uh, the song places, which is you know pretty much society. It links that right up with uh, the four storehouses being empty because that ate hey, that hunger. It's gonna be a big motivator for you people, man. It's gonna drive you people insane. They're like screws <laughs> people. Uh, second answer sixteen, uh, invading one another. Yep, for, for lack, lack of bread, of bread yep. great tribulation. So the, when people, especially Americans, where they got drive-throughs, delivery this, delivery that, hell, Walmart will come put the damn groceries in your fridge for you now. So imagine when a nigga, nigga can't eat his Popeyes chicken. You know, they're gonna lose. Look what Jake was doing when they couldn't get a damn chicken sandwich from Popeyes. They lost their damn minds. So you imagine when they can't get nothing. No EBT, all right. No food stamps. All that shit's going out the window. And if you do, let's say you get the chip. It, what if the store ain't got no food anyway? <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah, Luke twenty-one and twenty-nine, and he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth. Ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now not yet hand. You know, so Yahweh Shah is giving a, a simple parable, you know, comparing it to trees. You know, when when you see it start to bud and you see the little piece at the end of the leaf, the uh to start producing fruit. fruit yeah. Yep. You you know that uh what that, that the fruit is on its way. Okay, so you understand what season you in. So just as you see the hyperinflation, the wars, the rumors of wars, the floods, the earthquakes, as you see these things, you know what? How it shines on the way. You know, and it's only going to increase and get worse and worse. Like it speaks about uh, second edge of the 16th child about those birth pains, right? You know, it, it's slack not for a moment, but you know, the further you go down the line, the more and more it uh, increases. Uh, verse 31 says, so likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, Know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is not at hand, and we know what uh, through much tribulation should we enter into the kingdom, right? So we know what that what hell is about to break loose on the planet Earth, man. It's gonna get real, real spooky out here, man. And if you don't have no one to trust in, you're gonna trust in Egypt, mm -hmm. and you're gonna be destroyed. So well, we're gonna trust in your heart, Shimmy, and our shy Lord's will. We we endure to the end, you know. But we're gonna wait, you know. We're gonna be in in the in the same. You know cities that you gonna be in, but the Lord's gonna protect us, and we and we no matter what situation we're faced with, all we gotta do is, is trust and wait on the Lord, because He said He'll deliver us as long as we call upon His name. And these other people are gonna be losing their minds because they don't believe, they don't have nothing, no faith, they don't have nothing to believe in or to trust in. They don't have no confidence. It, all these churchgoers, they they gonna flip out. They are gonna lose their damn minds very soon. Or well, they already losing their minds, but when they when shit hits the fan. To see where Jesus is at then. Exactly. They're gonna be the worst ones out here stabbing and killing each other. And all in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, jumping down to verse 35, Luke 21 and 35. For as a snare should it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna come as a, as a snare, as a trap to everyone that dwell, dwell on the face of the earth because why? They don't trust in the Lord. They're not taking this. See, this is the grace period 
you know, to repent, to turn back to the Lord, to build up that relationship, you know, with our, with our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. That way, what you can have a peace of mind through the time of Jacob trouble. You can have faith, something to rely on. The scriptures speak about wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. And what the King David said, with all thy getting, get understanding. So this is a time to be indulging in the scriptures, man. You know, uh, uh, rehearsing the righteous act, you know, trimming off the fat, you know, uh, uh, building up our, uh, our, our character, you know, self-discipline, and ultimately, you know, praying, reading, studying, and standing in the spirit, right? Because judgment, is, judgment is, a, is, is upon the earth, man, and only Yahweh Shah Hamashiach can cover you from this judgment. Verse 36, it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yep. Hey, so, so watch and pray that, that we may be found worthy to be here, that we may be found worthy that the Lord dispatches angels to protect us, to feed us. Us and our family and you know whoever may be with us, man. With hey, but we need we we need a covering, man. Yeah, because in his we Yahweh Shai is our covering, and we're gonna be the covering to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, was Isaiah thirty-two, man shall be a hiding place. Yeah. You know, we're gonna be the covering. You know, for a lot of people, they're gonna come learn about the Lord through us, and then they're gonna in turn believe, and you know they'll be following you, just like Paul said, be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. The people are gonna be looking for us, at us for answers, you know, and guidance. And we're, we're gonna be looking to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaif, and through that we'll be able to lead them, you know, and comfort them with the word. Even if we don't have the scriptures with us, it's already in us, yep. you know. We, we, we can quote scriptures all day to you, you know. You got anything else? Yeah, I got one more. Zephaniah chapter two, verse three: Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought His judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. And you trust me, you're gonna want to be hid when the <laughs> missiles are on the way and the chariots are zapping people. You can't run from this judgment. You're here in America. It's a the only way out is through them chariots, yep. else or else you're gonna be burnt to a crisp in the lake of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and now that's it on that. In the lake, the lake of fire is not uh is not hell. What right. you gonna? Go after life, no. Eternally, the, right. The scriptures speak about you will be cast alive, and you know, and, and into the uh, the lake of fire. Yeah, right. They stand upon their feet. Mm -hmm. They're gonna, you're gonna be melted alive. Yep. Incinerated, <laughs> but you're gonna feel it. It ain't gonna be a quick, painless death. Right. You know, like they they, they went in the night and peacefully. No, it's gonna be a torture. The, the, the Revelation 14 tells you they were tormented mm -hmm. in the presence of the angels Ooh. and the Lamb. Yep. So to that you go into the uh, that word there in the Greek, it, it pretty much means to torture. So you're gonna be tortured. You know, watch the movie uh, Indiana Jones. The Ar uh, what is it? Um, what was it? Uh, something. The Ark of the Covenant or something like that. I forgot. What, but it's uh, pretty much it's, the movie's about the Ark of the Covenant, and they open it, and then uh, the, the flames start melting the dude. He's like, that's ah! <laughs> a perfect example of how these people are gonna be, man. They're, the welling, you know, and that we're gonna be watching the Lord's will. We're gonna be watching from above and chariots looking down upon you peons burning up. You got anything else, sir? No, I was it on that. So hey, with that, Lord's will is edifying and exhorting to the hopeful elect. And we give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone. Salutations to all the brothers and sisters out there. Shalom. Shalom.